so once again, we are leaving Johnny and Emily's with, uh, I've got Brian and Jack and Ann. Audra's at home and she said she's having contractions about three minutes apart, lasting one to two minutes. Audra's in pain. Look at those two on the bed. No help at all. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. Hi, Adeline. Audra, our house is like a mile away. We can come back home. It's like what? It's only a mile away. We can come back home. What are you doing? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I'm doing nothing. Hey guys. You need to know. Well, we may be taking her in because she's in pain, so. Hey guys. We'll see. All right. So, we just left the house. We're taking Audra in. She's in pain, which she hasn't been in before. She's had contractions before, but they've never been painful. So, we're taking her in just in case. I mean, it's a Better to be safe than sorry. So These guys. two are in the back. They're soon to be parents, possibly even tonight. <laughs> Yikes. And mommy's here. Hi. <laughs> All right guys, we'll let you know when we get there. Oh, they salty this. They're like, ain't nobody falling. <laughs> I would be the one to fall with the camera in my hand, though. I <laughs> know, I'm like, making you fall. Okay, you're like, Bloop. We're waiting, they gotta check her in, but I don't know, guys, I think this is the real deal. She's in pain, she is not comfortable, I'm... and I know that feeling like you're not comfortable, you can't, Ugh. I and don't know. she has a high pain tolerance and she's never been in pain yeah. pretty much this whole pregnancy like she's not, not like really this. in pain like she's uncomfortable but she's not like I can't breathe like she's literally said that like yeah. I can't she breathe. couldn't she didn't even want to talk which that was another thing like I didn't want to answer questions like and I wouldn't I don't even want to answer questions when I'm like not feeling good either no. I've never been in labor so we're just waiting we're gonna film everything that we can, everything that they'll let us. We just I got don't know. Out. But we got, <laughs> well, I figure Will should be the one they let go in now, and then, you know. Yeah. I mean, come on, it's the bad. But then they're gonna let us both in, which is awesome. There's nobody here. This would be like. I saw one I don't girl know. in, like, one of in those. our room. But All right, well, I'm keep you guys updated. frustration has set in I'm not in the room but Will has texted me and said that basically she's still the same dilation and everything I don't know what's going on with this girl I feel so bad because I'm I'm not in her body so I can't like I know what labor is she looked like it could be the start of it I had a bad experience with Anne I waited way too long to go to the hospital because I was like having contraction then I'd be fine having then all of a sudden my water broke and I had her within like 30 minutes so I don't want that to happen for her so of course I'm trying to be like helpful and get her here on time and you know she wants an epidural but uh, I'm not frustrated I'm frustrated for her because I'm sure she's frustrated now Will is never gonna believe her <laughs> right Will Never. Will forever call her the girl who fucked <laughs> Poor girl, I feel bad. I know. And I look extremely tired just so looking at myself I. in the camera. <laughs> I mean, it is what? 12. 11.55. Anyways, well, we'll let you guys know. We're, We're leaving we're without home. a baby. <laughs> God, my <laughs> legs hurt so bad. They let you leave like a couple days. Yeah. 
It really does depend. Sorry, Audra. It is so <laughs> cold in this section right here. <laughs> Will is so mad so right I'm now. I'm just gonna have to wait. <laughs> Will's like, time to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta work in three hours. <laughs> Uh, We're going home once again. It's one in the morning. No baby, but at least we know that she's okay. We love you guys. Thanks for keeping up with us. Love you guys. I'm sorry. I'll let you know when I'm really having a baby. It's cold. Get in the car. So we're going back to the doctor's after we were just there all night for Audra's doctor appointment today. And hopefully they tell us something better. Something that makes more sense. So Maddie's texting us. Maddie, obviously you saw Maddie took Audra to her appointment this morning after last night's crazy night. Um, and the baby, what'd she say? They're gonna induce her tomorrow. They're gonna induce tomorrow. Okay, there you have it. So, today we'll show you about last night and the crazy night. And tomorrow, we might get a birth vlog. <laughs> Whew, I'm shaking, but I'm ready. Maybe. Come on, baby. So, unexpected news at the doctor's today. The baby is not growing. I think it's because she doesn't have room to grow. The doctor's saying that her scent is not working right. Anyways, the doctor wants to get the baby out of her as soon as possible. So, they're giving her medicine to induce her. Today. Today. All night, she's going to stay at the doctor's. And then, depending on how the baby reacts to it, she's the doctor's gonna come in tomorrow morning, break her water, and she's gonna induce her, and she's gonna have her baby tomorrow morning. But if the baby doesn't respond well to the medicine, mm -hmm. she could have an emergency C-section tonight. But which I just wonder why they wouldn't do the C-section. You know, yeah. I know she's probably the trying to. Doctors really want her to have her naturally. Yeah. But I mean. It is what it but is. But they'll take care of her. Her back doctor back. is great. I completely trust her. And uh huh. And her doc, her doctor. I mean, her her main focus was getting the baby out as soon as possible. Yeah. So. So we're definitely worried. And we're having a baby. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, Audra's on her way home, but we're probably not going to put the camera in her face because yeah. she's, she's emotional. Emotional right now. Yeah. It was a lot to take in all at once. It was. Like I said, really unexpected. So stay tuned and keep us in your prayers. We will probably see you tomorrow with a baby. <laughs>